Hello, my name is Roman Mironov, and my job today is to show you some of the basics of segmentation in the translation program Omega 2. Let's start by looking at the paragraph versus sentence level segmentation. The sentence level segmentation is more practical because you normally don't want to have an entire paragraph in a segment. Which one is a sentence? This is an example where three sentences belong to the same paragraph in the source file. But they appear as three separate segments in Omega T. This is the default setting. Let's try to change the setting to the paragraph level segmentation and see what happens. Now, these three sentences appear as a single segment. Translating them like this is never a good idea. Let me restore the default setting. This is much better now. But wait, here's an example where the paragraph level segmentation actually comes in handy. I have a German source file where each piece of text is on a separate line and is therefore a paragraph. But the file also includes multiple cases of abbreviated words, which will cause incorrect segmentation. A segment split into two. Instead of correcting each case, I can simply resort to the paragraph level segmentation. As a result of switching to the paragraph level segmentation, I get correct segmentation. So far, so good. Now let's see how the main default rule works. This is the rule. As many other rules, this one is based on the regular expression. This rule splits the text after any period question mark or exclamation mark followed by space. The checkbox means splitting the text. Let's go back to the editor. In this case, this rule splits the text on the period, which is correct. But in the next instance, it fails to split the text after the question mark here because it's not followed by a space. It's followed by a non-breaking space. This means that I need to adjust my rule to make sure it covers a non-breaking space as well. Let's go back to the rule. This regular expression represents a regular space. I will replace it with another one that represents any kind of a space, including a non-breaking one. Let's go back to the editor and see what happens. There you go. Well, that's about it for today. Thank you for your time. Please let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Bye.